Being a, a, a black guy in Asia, do you get any like weird looks? In Hong Kong, not really. In China, too much. Too much? It's unbearable. <laughs> what do they do to you in China? China. They try to rub your skin in China? Yeah. They're, trying, they're trying to clean it. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and lock in. In this particular video, we have a young brother that uh, is talking about his experiences in Hong Kong versus his experience in China. And the young man, I think his name is Jimmy Zhang, is asking him questions about how he's treated as a black man in these particular areas, right? And again, of course, I'm going to take a moment to expand the video. Just give me a second. But... He was saying in Hong Kong, it's not so much, but in China, I guess he's speaking more or less about mainland China and stuff like that. He said, everybody is just, you know, it's seemingly doing some really, probably not so cool things in his mind, right? Trying to rub his skin off to see if they can clean it type shit. And yes, I could un honestly understand that if I was a black man in China and they did some shit like that to me, I'd probably feel away. Not like I'm gonna do anything crazy because that's just not who I am and that's just not my energy. And I, as a foreign man, don't matter where I'm from in the world, have to understand that in different cultures, when they're not used to seeing people like me and shit like that, you have to understand that they are gonna act crazy. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube where in young black women traveling to China and, you know, their hair, they have dreadlocks, you know, people walking up and touching their dreadlocks. I mean, my wife goes ape shit crazy if I try to touch her hair, okay? I don't know what it is. She's like, don't touch, right? It's, it's, it's like that, right? Don't, don't fucking touch my hair. The same with my African-American sisters. You know, nobody really likes their hair touched. I mean, that's anybody, man or woman, but, you know, or any race, but... You know, there's something about it that, oh, this is a different type of hair I haven't seen before. It's like you're a, you know, a, an odyssey or some shit. Like, you're just different. Like, but not in the great way, but in a weird way. Like, people are trying to treat you like you're some fucking main attraction at a circus event or something like that. It's wild. And I've seen it in video. They just stand and stare. Like, you know, here in the United States, somebody stare at you. You're about to square up, right? You're about to throw hands because, yo, what you looking at, right? I understand. That's probably like a black thing. But neither here nor there. You, It's weird when somebody stares at you, right? But again, understanding that you're in a foreign country. Understanding that, uh, you know, you're dealing with a different group of individuals. You know, you got to understand that you're going to be treated differently, right? It comes with the territory. To expand on that, going to the Philippines, being black is a dime a dozen. Now, back in the day when I first got there, it was a unique thing. Like when I first arrived in 2005, first time I visited, 2005, went to live there in 2006, right? That was a great time, right? Black people without excuse me, black Americans were not as common, right? Of course, my brethren from Africa, they would come to the Philippines and study and they probably been doing that for many, many, many years. That's my African African brothers and sisters would, you know, go to college and the universities over there as well. Same as I did, you know, just um, taking a different path. Usually they'll do something medical related or, you know, engineering or something to that effect. Um, STEM related, which I think is awesome, you know, probably more relevant now than it probably was back then. Neither here nor there. But, you know, it wasn't super uncommon. It was uncommon, but not super uncommon. Now, like I said, black people now are dime a dozen in the Philippines, right? You see a couple of brothers daily, just depending on where you're going. Not as many of us are traveling. Let's keep it real. Try to boost that up. But, you know, there are some. Then again, you got some that are coming from the not so prominent groups of individuals representing the United States. Uh, the Pugas in the right, right? You already know what it is. You know, some of them do happen to trickle in and, you know, infiltrate <laughs> from time to time, but that's neither here nor there. But in China, it's a little different. I don't really think there's a lot of, unless it's for work, right? You know, you can, you can do pretty good doing online teaching or teaching at the U.S. schools in China and stuff like that. I've even looked at a couple of jobs about teaching uh, English long time ago before I got to where I am right now a long time ago I was considering it but it's the fact that you know being black and being treated differently it's just weird you would think 2023 man damn they ain't seen a black face before it's kind of the vibe you get like god dang you ain't seen black people before <laughs> in the Philippines it's a little bit different because of course Filipinos have black in their history Shout out to my boy Mike. He did a video on that one. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But, <laughs> um, you know, I guess 
because the Chinese don't have black in their history, this is just something that's new to them, right? Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you that you can't get play, all right? Or you're not going to get girls and stuff because you're black in China. But I would also be remiss if I didn't tell you that it may be a little bit difficult than probably in other countries like Thailand, Philippines, and of course your Brazils and stuff like that. Where in there are dark-skinned individuals, right? Because if you think about it, there are Morena, Filipinas, you know, you'll see some dark-skinned <laughs> Thai women. You'll see dark-skinned women in Brazil and Colombia and stuff like that. But it's very rare that you see a dark-skinned Chinese person. Like, maybe it's because I haven't been there. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong places. But it's rare. I think even if I haven't been to the country, it's rare that you come across a dark-skinned <laughs> Chinese person. So I guess if you come into the country and your skin color is, you know, my complexion, you know, that that dark, that, that chocolate, right? Um, <laughs> you know, people are going to react differently, right? Like, oh my God, what is this? Who is he? Where is he from? Even though I'm pretty sure they know Africa exists because a bunch of them are in Africa, you know, businesses, businesses and shit. But again, neither here nor there. You know, I guess it's just different for the local and the native people of China. But in most other countries, black people have become a dime a dozen, which is cool, man. I mean, we fit in, we get in where we fit in, we have fun and stuff like that. I think that it would probably be awkward for me to go to China. Like, I guess he's speaking more or less, like I said, the mainland, but Hong Kong and the Macau area. I would love to go there, but I know for a fact Macau is effing expensive. It's like the Las Vegas of China. Well, Hong Kong is China technically, but not technically because they're in the same area. But Hong Kong's got its own currency. China has its own currency. It's crazy. But, you know, it's kind of like Las Vegas because they got their own win. Macau and shit like that so it's definitely a whole vibe and it's definitely gonna cost you but you know maybe one day we'll go just for the shits and gigs man just for the kicks all right but that's just my talk man I'm curious to know if you've been in China yourself let me know what you guys think do you feel like they really do treat like all black people like that maybe this was an isolated incident with this brother I don't know I'm really not believing that it was an isolated incident but you know who knows maybe it was Right. If you got story, story. If you have stories to share, you care to share, man. Let me know in the comment section below, man. It's been a good doc. Y'all know what time it is, man. Time for good doc to go and get to get. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, bro. Thanks out.